Okay, welcome back. Uh, the next video we're going to go into is uh, removal of trespassers. It's quite a detailed video, this one. So I'm going to cover a few things first. Okay, who can remove a trespasser? The owner of a property can remove anyone off their property that's trespassing. Okay, when does the person become a trespasser? A person becomes a trespasser when they're told to leave a pro property that's not theirs, okay, that is when they're um, trespassing, if they refuse to leave, okay, if they refuse to leave the property that's not theirs, okay, um, so they can be told to leave, asked to leave, uh, it's the same thing, um, they have to leave, alright, it's not their property. Um, who else can remove a trespasser? Uh, if you're renting a property, um, you can ask a person to leave that property if, uh, if you know, if your name is on the tenancy agreement, um, then you have the right to remove anybody from that property. Um, ask them to leave, all right? Um, and they have to leave by law. They have to leave. Um, can anybody help you doing that? Yes, you could have other people help you to remove that trespasser if need be. Um, who can help you? It could be friends and family. Okay, they're entitled to help you. If you ask them, can you help me to remove this person? All right, they're entitled to help you. Okay. Um, what about the police? Yes, you can call the police to come in and remove the people. They won't, won't remove the trespasser unless, um, you know, they have your uh, authority to do that. If you've asked the police that this is the person I want trespassed, or I want removed off my property, then they have the power to, to help you with that. Okay, that's how it is. So who can you trespass? Well, you can trespass anybody um, off your property, okay, if you're renting it, you own it, whatever, you can trespass them for any reason. You don't even need a reason, okay? You might not like the shoes they wear. You might not like the way they talk. You might not like the way um, their demeanor. Um, uh, you might just not like them, okay? You might just not want them there, okay? You don't have to legally have a reason. It's your property. So you can ask anyone to leave for any reason whatsoever, and no, you don't have to give them a reason. You don't, you're not legally obligated to tell them why they have to leave. The fact is it's your property, you're renting it or you own it, and you can make them leave for whatever your reasons are, and you don't have to give them a reason. It's always nice to give somebody a reason. Um, that way they, you know, if you keep it, um, keep it uh, straight up, okay, um, and tell them, this is why I want you to leave, okay, whatever okay and they have to leave okay it comes down to the story when you remove a trespasser uh, there's an old saying you throw the ball nicely nine times out of ten the person's going to throw the ball nicely back so if you treat the trespasser with a bit of respect and go about it the right way they'll normally take that on board and and, and give respect back okay but if you go in there and are giving attitude when it's unnecessary you're probably going to get attitude back Okay, so it's all about how you handle it. Okay, as a security officer, even though you don't rent the property or you don't own the property, because you're a licensed um, security officer, um, when you're looking after that premises, the owner or occupier of that property has given you the right to act on their behalf and you are now able to trespass people if you think it's necessary, okay? Um, obviously, if the manager or the owner or the occupier is there, you can, they'll normally tell you if they want that person trespassed, or you can ask that uh, occupier or owner if you'd like, manager, if you'd like, if they want you to trespass that person. Or sometimes you need to make that decision on your own call, you have the right to do that as a security officer, okay? Um, obviously, if you'd need backup, you can call for backup security and obviously the police as well, just like uh, any other um, civilian. Okay, so let's get into um, what I've written down here, basically, to, to give you an idea if you do decide to remove a trespasser. Somebody's come onto your property, you don't want them there for whatever reasons, um, uh, or you're security, doing security on a property, 
and you don't want the person there. They're doing something that you just don't want. They're causing problems, whatever it may be, and you decide, no, nah, this person's got to go. The first thing you've got to do is decide, can I handle this? Can I handle this person? Or possibly persons. Might be more than one. Okay? If you can handle it, then you go, go for gold. Okay? If you think you're going to need backup, call for backup. Okay? Um, if you don't think you can handle it safely, call the police, okay? Um, if it's getting out of your control where you think it's going to get violent or it's going to turn nasty and, it, and the situation could turn worse, get the police in straight away. Prevention is better than cure. Okay, so first I'm going to go over a couple of things. Removal of trespasses. If asking the trespasser or trespassers to leave nicely fails, okay, so this is where if you think you can do it, okay, if you don't think you can do it, as I said, you call the police, okay, um, you go, first thing you want to do is you want to go up and ask the trespasser or the trespassers nicely, hey, look, uh, mate, look, this is my property, um, okay, and, uh, you, you need to leave, okay, and if the person says why, you, you, you can give them a reason why, okay, I, I normally give the person a reason, okay, I'll give them a reason, this is why, okay, because you're doing this, or because you're doing that, or because you're being disrespectful, or whatever it might be, okay, um, and just be straight up, okay, but say it in a, you can say it in a nice way, okay, alright, so I'm sorry, but you, you I'm sorry mate, but you're going to have to go, okay, alright, and, and use body language, Say it at a distance. For example, if I borrow Teresa, imagine Teresa's our um, our trespasser, all right? And there might be a, a, a couple of people you're trespassing, all right? So I might come up and I might go, hey, uh, this prop, the property here, it, this is my property, and um, the way you've been talking to other people and, and, and acting, okay, uh, in a disrespectful way, I have to ask you to go. You've got to go. You can't stay here any longer. I'm sorry, but uh, it's just it's just that I can't let you stay. Okay, it is my property, and um, you need to go. All right. Okay. If you do that, okay, most people are going to be quite good about it, especially if you go like this. All right. So I, 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 it's nothing. It's nothing uh, like um, I'm not trying to be disrespectful to you in any way, or I'm not targeting you in any way. It's, it's nothing personal. Okay. It's nothing personal or anything like that. I just need you. Alright, can you do all good? Alright, okay, so if you deal with the person straight up and just say to them, look, this is the situation, you know, uh, I have to ask you to leave, or whatever, and how you say it is going to um, depend on how the other person is normally going to take it. Okay, so what happens though, because we're, we're going to go from best case scenario, where the person just picks up and leaves, or the two or three people pick up and leave and they go and I've done that to people before and they've just gone they've gone okay yeah I can respect that it's your property and you know I understand and, and they leave and, and and you thank them thank thanks mate appreciate it you know you have a good night you know what I mean be 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 respectful okay they're not they're not your enemy remember that they're not your enemy okay but you're still having to do your job However, we're going to continue it up and we're going to amp it up as we go to worst case scenario. Right. Obviously, if I didn't feel safe doing that, okay, if it was three or four guys, and I was thinking, man, these guys are off their face, are total, all right, um, they, they're getting aggressive, and, and, and I can see it's going to turn nasty, and it might be in your house or somebody's property, and, and, and things are going to get messed up, call for backup. Call for the police if need be, okay? It's better to have the numbers there and deal with the problem. As human beings, we all understand numbers, okay? When you're outnumbered, we all understand that, okay? It's not in your best interest to fight against the numbers when the numbers are, are against you. Okay? We all understand that, so use that. Okay, if asking the trespasser or trespassers to leave nicely fails, if it fails, and you believe it to be unsafe to remove the trespasser or trespassers by yourself, okay, all right, it would be wise for you to call for backup security or and backup police, okay. However, the police could take quite some time. 
okay? And you may want this person gone straight away. Okay, you may not be able to wait for too long. Could be a busy night for the police. They may not even turn up because it may not be a priority. They may have other priorities to deal with. So you may have to deal with it yourself, okay? However, if the police can come and remove them, sweet as, okay? Pro problem, problem solved. However, if you do decide to move them physically yourself, do we have the right to physically remove a trespasser? Yes, we do. Legally, we have absolutely the right to remove a trespasser. Why do we have the right to physically remove a person from our property? Well, because that once you once you ask the person to leave, and they refuse to leave, they're then breaking the law. They're a trespasser. That means they're breaking the law. The law says when you're asked to leave a property by the occupier or the owner or a person that's given the authority to, i.e. security officer or police officer, you have to leave. And if you don't leave, you're then breaking the law. Okay? So, what, what can we do if the person starts to disagree? Okay? If the person starts to disagree, we tell them, look, hey, if you don't leave, you're actually breaking the law, okay? By not leaving, by not abiding by what I've just said that you need to leave, or I'm asking you to go and you don't go, you're actually trespassing, okay? So sometimes what I'll do then is I'll say, I'll, give, I'll, I'll, I'll recite the uh, Trespass Act to them. So I'll say, under the Trespass Act 1980, uh, you're hereby trespassing, okay? If you refuse to leave, you can receive up to, don't quote me on this, three months imprisonment or a thousand dollar fine or both if the judge so decides okay All right. and so I'm asking you nicely to leave and um, that's what's going that's what you need to do it's in your best interest to leave okay otherwise if I have to call the police in that's probably what's going to happen to you if they arrest you, you that you're going to be um, and get charged with trespassing you could receive up to a thousand dollar fine and three months in prison, so it's very serious. Okay, a lot of the time people will, re will realize at that stage, oh, I'm actually physically being trespassed because I mentioned the word, and they realize the uh, the implications of them refusing to, and some of them will then leave. Okay, so I go from asking them nicely to leave to then saying that they're physically trespassed verbally. I'm verbally giving them a trespass order to leave. Now what's the difference between a verbal trespass, which I just did then, and a written trespass? Well, a written trespass is just done on paper, and a verbal is just giving it to them verbal. Does the paper trespass order have more power or merit or strength over the verbal trespass? No, absolutely not. They both have the same amount of power, okay? All right. It doesn't make any difference whether you're doing it verbally or giving it to them on a piece of paper. Okay, they both carry the same amount of weight. Okay, the only difference is when you've got it on paper, it has a little bit more um, proof that you've done it. Okay, that you've given them the paper. But they may say, look, they, they didn't receive it. Okay, but with verbal these days, you can record it. You can have someone in the background recording it all on paper. Um, uh, cell phone these days okay on camera especially if you've got security cameras everywhere okay but a cell phone's even better that way you've got proof when the police arrive if you have to call the police in you can say here it is where I physically gave them a verbal trespass and they refuse to leave all right so the person can't say no one told me anything all right so Let's say the, you give the person a uh, verbal trespass, okay, notice, most people will leave at that point, okay. However, we're going for worst case scenario, let's say the person doesn't leave, okay. At this stage we can start to consider whether we're going to get physical or not, okay. Normally at this point while I'm doing these things, I'll be motioning the person, always try and do things without touching the person, preferably, because touching a person can amp it up pretty damn quickly. Can I borrow you, Teresa? 
Okay, so what we do here is we can motion the person. Okay, come on mate, this way, this way, come on, let's go. You've got to go out, you've got to, got to leave, okay? And we can motion the person out, all right? Without touching them. But sometimes when I'm going to trespass somebody, and I know I'm already going to trespass them, I've already made the decision, I might come up like this, and I'll start touching the person straight away, so that they won't play the old, uh, don't touch me, don't touch me thing, okay? When, if I say, oh, you're trespass, you're trespass, let's go, and I start touching them, the person starts getting all anti. So what I'll normally try and do sometimes, is I'll go up and I'll say, I'll, I'll touch them straight away, and I'll be like, oh, hey, uh, how's it going? How's it going? Hey, uh, my name's Glenn. Um, Look, uh, I, I, I'm the owner of the place here, and I know you're having a good time, okay, but um, you, you're having too much of a good time. You're swearing, and you're abusing people, and you're like getting really um, like, uh, disrespectful to people. I'm not having a go at you. I'm not having a go at you. I'm just saying that, um, that, that I don't allow that on my property, and um, can you understand that? You can understand. Thanks, bro. I appreciate that. Hey, um, but I, you can't stay here any longer. Really sorry, but you can't stand any longer. Um, um, yeah, you, you're gonna have to go. Yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but you're gonna have to go. Okay. okay. All right. I'll, I'll show you out. Come on, let's see. All right. So you can see how I handled that there. Okay. I'm being nice to the person, but I'm telling them what they did wrong, even though I don't have to. Okay. And I was already touching the person before I even trespassed them. Okay. So by the time I said you have to leave. They're already used to me going, oh, okay, and, 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 and touching them. And shaking their, hand is a, shaking their hand is a sign of friendship. It's a gesture, okay, and that's what we're trying to do, okay. And you can see I was saying it's nothing personal, things like that. And nine times out of ten, people will leave. Okay, I've tres trespassed many, many people in my time, okay. So, what if she didn't leave straight away, okay. Right, so let's just say we get up to the point, so you've got to leave, okay, you've got to leave, you've got to leave, you don't want to leave, okay, well, alright, well, you, you have to because it's my property. Oh, okay, you do realise that when I ask, when I'm asking you to leave, um, that you're actually trespassing, you're actually, when, when a person asks you to leave their property and, and you refuse to leave, you're what's called trespassing and you're actually breaking the law at that point. And um, did you know that? Yeah, you're actually breaking the law. And um, I don't want to call the police on because if the police turn up here and you get charged for trespassing, you can receive three months in, up to three months in prison or a thousand dollar fine, or if the judge decides he can give you both of those. And I don't want that to happen to you, you know? Because you're all right, you're an all right sort, but I don't want, I don't want to have to do that. You, you know what I mean, eh? You know? I don't want to have to do that. So um, I'll show you where the door is, eh? Come on. Thanks, man. I appreciate it, you know? All right, you see what I did there? Okay, so I went from just asking the person to explaining the fact that it is um, uh, illegal. They're now breaking the law. Some people don't know that they're breaking the law at that point. So it's nice to let them know. Okay? So, um, and you can see me gesturing. There's constant gesturing, shaking the hand, patting them, saying, hey, you know, and, you know, and talking to them nicely. Throwing the ball nicely, she was throwing the ball back nicely, okay? That's the way we want to do it, okay? Uh, prevent, preventing a potential problem or an issue or a situation or an incident is better than having to deal with that incident afterwards, okay? Because it gets nasty. It's all about how we communicate with people. It's more important than uh, doing techniques, okay? Nine times out of ten, you won't have to do a technique if you communicate with the person properly. Okay, what's the next thing we do? Let's say, for instance, this person now, okay, um, still refuses to leave, okay? At that stage, I might think, I'm thinking, okay, if the, this person looks like they might get violent or it's going to be it's quite a big person or there's two or three of them that's starting to get out of my league, I'll say, okay, sweet as, right, not a problem. I go away and I, I'll, I'll call for backup. Call for more security, call for the police, okay? That's what you've got to do. All right, just as I just mentioned. Okay, let's go into the next part. Okay, so, um, if all that fails, we want to um, lightly grasp one of their arms. If we decide we're gonna physically remove this person, let's say it's just the one person, 
We're going to physically remove them, okay? We have to remove the trespasser legally. We can move them physically, but we are not allowed to cause bodily harm to them. Okay? In New Zealand, you can remove a trespasser physically, but we're not allowed to do bodily harm to them in the process. Okay? That means breaking bones. That means putting bruises on their bodies. That means dislocating their arms. That means damaging their eye socket, anything else. Okay? We're not allowed to do bodily harm to them when we, when we remove them. Okay, so we can lightly grasp them and guide them out. Okay, that's what we've got to do. So I'm going to read this out. You can lightly grasp one arm, one of their arms, um, by the wrist and the upper elbow. Okay, and escort them out. Ensure that you do not hurt or do bodily harm during this process. In the trust, if the trespasser resists, we can then apply more force. Okay. Um, but only the minimum minimum amount of force required to continue the removal of the trespasser. So let's say we bring Teresa back over here, right? I've asked her to leave nicely. She says no. Okay. I've I've uh, informed her that she's breaking the law and that she's trespassing and what the consequences of that are. She still refuses to leave. Okay, at this stage, because I've already been going like this and everything else, I can then start to motion her by grabbing another arm. Okay, I, by grabbing the arm and the wrist. So I can say, Come on, come on, mate, come on, time to go. No, come on, you've got to go. Like, really, you have to leave. Okay, come on, come on, let's go, mate, eh? come on. All right, so what you can see here with the arm here is I've grasped her wrist over here around her wrist area okay on the small of her wrist boom there okay and my other hand has come up behind her elbow here here's the elbow right and here's my hand just above her elbow okay and I've got I'm escorting a lot just come back a little bit so they can see all right so I've just grabbed her hand and I've come up and I'm just escorting her like this come on let's go not hurting her okay I'm just holding her holding her not her hand I'm holding her wrist and her um, arm, okay? Now obviously this is all going to depend on the numbers that you're dealing with, as I said, okay? If it's two or three people, you've got to make a judgment call, okay? No one can tell you what to, what to do and what not to do. It's all going to be based on the scenario that you're currently in, okay? So again, let's say I um, grab her arm, I'm going like, I'm saying, hey, hey, blah, 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 she won't leave. Okay, you've got it, you've got to go, you know, she won't leave, so come on mate, come on, come on, let's go, come on, come on, let's go. Alright, time to go out, alright, they might be drunk, they might have been drinking, whatever, who knows. Most people won't have a go at you for touching them, um, if you've already been doing that, okay, it seems a bit strange that all of a sudden you've been touching them and all of the, then they all of a sudden, don't touch me, don't touch me, okay. Um, I've never had a person where I've been going like that and then all of a sudden they're going, don't touch me, don't touch me, because you've already been doing it. It doesn't make any sense, okay? Even though we know we have the legal right to touch them, okay, to remove them, okay? So, um, but what if um, the, the person is going, don't touch me, don't touch me, okay? Come on, mate, you've got to go. Come on, let's go. Don't touch me. Come on, let's go. Time to go. Here's the exit over there. Is the exit over there. What am I doing as well? I'm always making sure I'm in a stance and I'm in a safe distance from this person if they decide to attack me. Okay? Come on, it's over here. Let's go. You're going to stay here? Okay, you're going to force me to have to call the police. You don't care? Alright. Okay, now, if she doesn't leave, if this person refuses to leave, and I think it's getting to the point here where it's going to get physical, we can tell that. Alright, they're going, don't touch me, don't touch me. Now I could legally just go in and grab her and start to move her out, but it's, it's unnecessary if I can achieve the same goal by having the police come in and, and she goes away with the police. If she does that with the police, the police will give her a few, a few chances, if she still refuses they'll just arrest her. Okay, not a problem, right? And they will grab her and put her on the ground or whatever and arrest her if need be, okay? But that's the police, let them do that. that. That's their job, that's what they get paid for, okay? The system trusts them when they're doing that, okay? 
If you go and do it as a security officer or as a normal person, you could start getting asked a thousand questions. Okay? So, let's say she's doing that, she won't let me touch her, she's going, no, no, you can see her getting the, the, the old backing off type thing. It's like, okay then, not a problem. Right, you leave me no choice. Okay? I might call for backup. Right? Call security backup. Or I might just decide, no, this is serious enough to call the police. So I dial, dial 111. Yes, could I have the police, please? And I normally do it where the person's in earshot. Okay. Yeah, could I have the police, please? Yeah, for a trespasser, a person um, refusing to leave my property. Thank you. Yeah, hi, uh, this is uh, Glenn Vickery. I've got a person uh, at my address. I've asked them to leave. Uh, my property and they're refusing to leave. Um, I've informed them that they're trespassing. Yeah, yeah, well, yeah, they're, they're right here beside me and um, they're refusing to leave and they said they're happy to wait for you guys. Yeah, they're happy to wait for the police. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Yeah, they're happy to wait here for you. All right, okay then. Thank you very much. Okay, bye-bye. All right, so I would have given them extra details, description, my address, anything else they needed, my contact details, blah, 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 okay? And I, then I'll say, this person already knows I've just been on, okay, the police are on their way. I'll be here maybe half an hour or so. I'm happy to wait, not a problem. Okay, and I'll just stay here with this person, at a safe distance, obviously. And it's always about safe distance, okay? And so we wait. So you want to wait for them? You don't want to wait now? No, are you sure? I'm go You're going to go now? Yeah. Okay, let's go. All right. I have had people wait. They've waited for the police. All right. And um, yeah, some some people when the police get there, they're like, oh, okay, I'll leave now, and then they leave. Who won? You did. All right. You might have to wait half an hour or so, but so be it. Okay. You still achieved your goal. Okay. Um, sometimes the police have turned up. The person's still arguing that they don't have to leave. They're like, I don't have to leave. You can't make me leave. The police will like give you two or three chances, you know, once you've told them this person I want them trespassed, they still refuse to leave, the police will just say, look, if you don't leave, we're going to trespass, are we going to arrest you? You've been trespassed, you need to go. And they won't go, they get arrested. All right, again, you, you achieved your goal, okay? That's the other person's fault for not listening, okay, not, not playing the game. Simple as that. Breaking the law. Okay, um... What else can we do? What if what if we start to move the person? Um, remember, you don't have to do it by yourself. In fact, trespassing somebody is far easier when you've got at least two people. When you've only got one person, it can be quite difficult if you don't know what you're doing. It can get really risky, okay? So you want to know what you're doing, um, but we'll go into it. So let's say that this time I go to remove uh, Teresa, and she decides that she's going to play up a little bit. But I managed to get, get hold of her arm. So I say, okay, so you need to go. Okay. You do realise that I'm, I do have the right to physically remove you? Try. Yeah, you'd like to see me try? Okay. Um, well, I do have the right to physically remove you, okay, from the property. That's my legal right because you're breaking the law and you're on my property. Okay, I have the legal right to actually physically remove you. Okay. Now, I'm not going to hurt you when I do that. I'm not going to hurt you. Okay. But don't try and attack me. Because if you try and attack me, I'm a, I've got the right to defend myself. So, before we do anything, I'm just going to let you know that when we go to remove a trespasser, we have to do it without doing bodily harm to them. They can resist and we can move them and we can do technique and whatever we need to do, but we can't do bodily harm whatever we do to them. We have to use minimum force to get them off our property without hurting them or doing bodily harm to them. However, if she takes a swing at me, <coughs> excuse me, if she takes a swing at me, <coughs> or tries to kick me, or tries to start fighting me, or lashing out at other people, it then goes from trespassing, the trespassing that we're doing, into something completely different, which is, it then goes into a different law called self-defense, which is what we've been covering throughout all these videos. Okay, It goes straight into self-defense mode. Okay, at that point we can hurt the other person if we need to, even still trying to use minimum force, but if we hurt them, if we do do bodily harm to them, and it's justified, we can do that. 
okay, because it's gone from trespassing into self-defense, okay. We might be still in the process of trying to trespass them and remove them, but we've also gone into uh, self-defense mode, okay, and we're going into the law and self-defense, which we've already covered. So, let's go here. Let's say we're, um, I say, come on, mate, you've got time to go. You have to go. Come on, let's go. Come on, come on, let's go. Come on, all right, come on. Come on, come on, come on. All right, so. So I might be using force to remove her, okay? But, and I can use force, she's using force, but I'm, I didn't do any bodily harm to her when I moved her, okay? I move her off my property. She hasn't done it, I haven't done any bodily harm to her. No broken wrists, no bruising, no, 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 no harm. Haven't hurt, I haven't damaged her body in any way. Okay, so that's okay. That's all legal. What if what if she was um, what if she was doing something that was trying to hit me? So imagine if we were here, and she was trying to trying to bring her arm up to hit me. Okay, she's bringing it, bring her arm up to try and hit me. She's trying, she's trying to, she's trying to hit me or something like that to go, boom, like that. As soon as her arm. Any part of her body looks like it's trying to attack me, okay? I can then go into self defense mode. I'm going from trespassing to self defense. So let's say she's trying to hit me, she's trying, she's trying to hit me, and I go like that and I take her down. All right, take her down to the ground and lock her up on the ground. At that point, we could then say, somebody call the police, call the police, because she's now can be done, arrested for uh, assault. All right, because her intent was to strike me. Her intent by her bodily gesture, her action, going up like that towards my face, could have been trying to hit me. Or she might, might be going like this, walking around, she goes to hit me with the other arm. Okay, she goes to hit me, right, and I go, take it down. And I take it down to the ground. All right. So I take it down to the ground because she was trying to make a swing and hit me. Okay, so let's go over a couple of things here, uh, physically, uh, techniques, with where we are with the arm. So this is called an escort hold. We've got one hand here, we'll come up a bit closer. We've got one hand here, and one hand behind the elbow, okay? What we do here is we, we want to stay directly on the side of Teresa, and potentially even slightly back as well. Okay, remember we're talking about position, okay, back here slightly is better, okay, but we want to be here where if she tries to take a swing this way, okay, you can see I'm out of her centre, but she has to come towards me, go, go take a swing, it's very hard when I'm, <laughs> I've got her hand here, and I'm pulling this hand back this way, just gently, and this arm here, up here, is pushing this way, so if we come around, alright, again, my hand up here is pushing this way, it's going like that, and this hand here is coming back this way, it's going back this way. So it's like almost arm barring the person without actually hurting them. Obviously if I'm walking here and I see the fist coming around, <laughs> that's what's going to happen, okay? I just arm bar, alright, and the person goes forward. If for some reason she decides to start bending down, to try and fight what we're doing, go bend down. I'll just take it down to the ground. Okay, just keep keep going, taking them to the ground. Just come back a bit. Okay, so let's say she's she's bending down. Okay, if she is bending down like that, I'll just change my grip here into here and go this way. And she's she's given me this. Okay, so she hasn't made things easier on herself. Can I still walk her out like that? Go back down. Right, try and stand up. Okay, I could just walk her out like this. Okay, it's not a problem. All right. Now, the other thing I can do, if she starts swinging her arm towards me, okay, I can also come this way. Okay, so I can, I can turn. We'll come back so you can see footwork a bit. If she's starting to swing towards me, okay, I can turn this way and start to bring her down this way. Alright, it's not very nice being thrown around all the time. Another thing that we can do from here, let's say she starts to bring her arm up towards her chest trying to 
trying to muscle her way out of my centre and bring her arm into her centre. She's muscling her way, she's bringing her arm up, then what I do is I turn, bring her arm up this way, and I go with her arm. Okay, we'll come back around this way, so you can see. So she's muscling her arm up, all I do is I turn her face towards her, I bring her arm up towards my other hand, and bring her arm down and take it down. From here, okay, she's trying to muscle her arm up. You see my front right foot here, it comes towards with a circular motion. This leg here stays on the ground. Turns, this one comes around. I'm now facing my centre towards her. She's still pulling up towards her centre. I go with it over her shoulder. This hand here transit, transits from here to here and we go over and we take the person to the ground backwards. Okay, if she's trying to muscle her arm up towards my face, she's trying to push her arm up, okay? At this point here, I can come in, okay? Grab her arm to here, and go straight into a gooseneck and bring her up on her tippy toes. All right? <laughs> All right, so here again, she's trying to muscle her arm up, I can't bring my arm in, I let her bring it up towards me, and then I bend it down and get her into a, uh, a gooseneck, and I apply pressure, holding her arm into my body, apply pressure up onto a tippy toes. From here I can walk around, okay, on the tippy toes. Horrible technique, horrible. <laughs> Call it the gooseneck, yeah? Okay, what else can we do if she's starting to force her arm down? She's trying to pull her arm down to go, I just go with it, all right? take the person to the ground, all right? Just all we're doing is just going with it, okay? If she's trying to pull her arm right over that way, I've had people do that, first thing I wanna do, I've got her arm in my center, she starts pulling it out this way, I wanna to turn towards it, as she's going that way, come straight in, boom! We take the person this way, okay? So, it doesn't matter which direction the person decides to go, we, have their whole arm here to assist us so we just whatever energy they give us if they give us energy going down we go down if they give us energy going up this way we go up this way if they give, give energy going around that way we go around that way take them let it go you know don't we don't have to fight the energy we resist it to a certain degree and then we just go with it okay all right so we let them lead they're leading themselves into that situation Okay, so um, that's how we escort the person off. Okay, obviously we're not doing harm to them. Okay, um, we, like I said, we don't want to do bodily harm to the person. Okay, however, if they do attack you during that process, we can go straight from, we're going from trespassing, automatically it's then if they're attacking us or attacking somebody, we go into self-defense mode. At that point, if we do bodily harm to them, that's okay as long as it is justified, okay? We still have to try and use minimum force and not hurt the person. Um, it's better if we can still defend ourselves without hurting the other person, okay? Uh, it takes more skill to do that, but that's the best interest for them and us and anyone else, okay? But if we do have to do bodily harm at that stage and it's justified, then that's okay in the, in the eyes of the court of the law, okay? Because that we're defending ourselves, okay? Um, and obviously if we do uh, defend ourselves and take the person down or hold them, okay, uh, if we're detaining them or arresting them, okay, uh, whether it's a citizen's arrest or we're detaining the person, um, we then have to call the police in as soon as, as soon as practical. Okay, what if we don't get that person into that arm? We can't, we can't get them into that arm. The, 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 the escort hold with the hand on the wrist and the hand on the arm. We can't get that. They won't allow it. They just won't let us anywhere near them. Okay. Right, they won't let us they won't let us anywhere near them. We need we need to get them off the premises. Remember we can't do bodily harm to the person. Okay? So you do realise that I have the right to physically remove you. You don't care. Okay? Come on mate, let's go. No? Okay, alright. 
at this point, I've got a choice, call for backup, call the police. Optional. If I think it's one person, yeah, I can think I can handle this person even if it gets nasty. I don't think it's going to go that way, but I can handle it. Or I can prevent, get this person off my property without wasting police time. Okay, and I can do it safely without hurting them or me being hurt or anyone else being hurt. I can remove this person. Okay. Okay then, um, well, uh, I don't know what else to say. Okay, sweet ass. Sweet ass. Okay, and escort them off. Okay. Alright, so, did I hurt you? No. No. I didn't hurt the person, <laughs> but. <laughs> okay, didn't hurt her, but I got her off the property without hurting her. Okay. Um, so I pretty much sucked her in. Okay, I didn't say she could stay, but I just said, alright, okay then. Alright, fine. If that's the way we're going to go, that's the way we're going to go. What did I do there? Alright, so the first thing I did was I put my hand out to her. She shook my hand. Most people when you put your hand out to shake their hand, it's a gesture. It's like a, okay, sweet ass, all good. Okay, but in this case it's okay, sweet ass, all good, I'm taking you out anyway. Okay, <laughs> alright, so what are we doing? We're shaking the hand, okay. At that point there I pulled her towards me just slightly and then I came under, around, Okay, underneath, pulled her arm behind her back and took a balance. Okay, from this point here, I've got her balance. Try and stand up. Very hard for her. Okay, and then I escort. Oh, out of the prison. Out of your property. We'll do it from another side. Okay. Okay, so I go, okay, all good then. Yeah, all right. Okay, so you're not going to leave. Okay, sweet as. Sweet as. Right, and we're here. Okay, I'll go back. All right, we're going here, 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 and here. All right, at this point here, when I get to here, I'm doing what you guys know, some of you know as motorbike, which is I'm turning her body that way, just with the one arm, and this other arm here comes straight up behind her. I take a balance, right? I can get my balance better. Really horrible for her here, horrible. And then I'll escort the person out. Alright. Nice and easy, nice and fast. Nobody got hurt. Okay. Escort the person off the premises. Once I get the person off the premises, you can say, right, stay off. I have the right to stop them from coming back on the premises. Okay, I can push them away. I can hold them back. I can get in their way. Okay. Um, if I think they're trying to attack me when they're trying to come in, I can defend myself. If they show me any gesture or intent that they could be a harm to me or another person, I can go into self-defense mode. Okay. Obviously, if it's starting to get like that, call the police. Call for backup. Okay. Um, that's what the that's what the police are paid to do. Okay. That's their job. That they've got their they've got all the gears to do their job. Let them do it. Okay. Um, so yeah, that's just one technique that we can um, we can get this person off our premises without hurting them. Okay. What if um, what if she's sitting down? It makes it a bit harder. Yeah. Yeah, anywhere it doesn't really matter. Okay. All right. Let's say she's sitting here, and I and and if I try and do that technique, okay, if I go, oh, good then, and I pull her up. Okay, I have to pull her up. Might be a big person. I don't want to be rah, trying to do this and pull them up, pull my shoulder, and I don't get the technique. Okay? Another way we might do it is we might go like this, we're going to say, come on, you've got to go. You've got to go, mate. You're not going to go. Come on. Come on. Come on, mate. Come on. Come on. You've got to go. Come on, do us a favour, eh? You've got to leave. No? You do know that the police are on their way, eh? Yeah, I can call, or I can call them in. Whatever, you know, it doesn't doesn't bother me. I'm gonna wait for them. Okay. So she might be fair, fair enough want to wait. I might be happy to wait as well. Not a problem. But if I'm not, well, I've already called the police. They say, oh, we're too busy. We can't get there. Right? Or it might be security. Security might come. Okay. If I'm a security officer, I got backup. Okay. Um, 
Or I might see the situation is going to get worse if this person doesn't leave because somebody, some other people are going to get angry. Okay, I don't know. Or I might be, be a, a sole owner of a property or a renter and it's just me, right? And the police, no security is going to come and help me and the um, police can't come because they're too busy. I have to remove this person. Come on, mate, let's go. We're not going to go. Okay. All right, then. All right. Okay, sweet ass. All good. Not a problem. Sweet ass. Okay, so here, you can see here she's on her tippy toes. Now, now we come in. Same thing again. Let's go. <laughs> all right, all right, okay, poor old uh, Teresa, okay, so what did we do there? We manipulated her ligaments, okay, using centre, balance, I took a balance, okay, so it came in, I pulled her up here, pulled her up onto her tippy toes, okay, and then we came through, same technique, boom, all right. All right, could we do other things? Yes, there's lots of other things we could do, all right? <laughs> okay, so we can remove the person whether they're sitting down. I prefer to use that technique if the person's sitting down. Okay, did I hurt her? No. She might have got a bit of a shock, but I didn't hurt her, okay? Um, and then we take the person out, same thing again. So the key, did I get hurt? No. Did the trespasser get hurt? No. Did anybody else at the party or the event or whatever we're, we're at, did they get hurt? No. Okay, quick, swift, sharp, short, sweep, gone. Okay, that's what we want to do. Uh, we don't want blood everywhere. Okay, we don't want people getting knocked out. We don't want people getting killed. We don't want people getting seriously injured. Okay, we want to get the job done, get it done swiftly where most people won't even know what just happened. They're just like, what just happened? What, what, what was that? I didn't see, what, what, ha what happened? That was fast, what did he do? Okay, it's all, it's all over before no one knows what even really happened. Could we take her out without grabbing her around the neck? Yeah, yeah we could. We could take her out without grabbing her neck. We could, we could, we could take her out a better way. Okay. Um, When you grab someone around the neck, obviously we're taking their balance a bit better, okay? So it's the same thing, we come in, right? We get their hair, we bring them up, we pull them up onto their tippy toes, we bring them around, okay? And we bring them here, okay? So have I got her around her neck, just around her chest, okay? And we can walk her out, okay? Again, if she's here. Okay, you gonna leave? Come on, mate, it's time to go. Come on, the bar's closed. The door's over there. I don't want to go. You have to go. Just go to the next bar. The next bar's down the road. It's no, better like than here this. anyway. I like this bar. You like this bar, but, but we're closed. No. We can't, we're not serving any more beer. Are you right? You have to go. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Alright then. Okay. All good. You have a good night then, okay? Yep. All right. Here. Okay. Now, I can walk her out this way as well. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right. So we can walk her out forwards as well. It's a lot more uncomfortable for her though. Okay. Especially when you're trying to walk out like this. Okay. It's not very comfortable. Okay. That's how we do it. Right, is there anything else? Okay, so that's pretty much it. If, if we deem it necessary where they've attacked us, we can hold the person, detain them, uh, arrest them if, if necessary, uh, if it's under the, uh, um, you know, the... Uh, if they've breached the uh, Trespass Act 1961 um, or you know we can we can arrest them if need be okay do a, do a citizen's arrest okay and then of course if we do that we must hand them over to the police to a police officer as soon as is practical okay or as soon as possible we need to hand that person over to the police 
while they're in our custody or while we're detaining them sometimes we're detaining them for their own safety if they get up they might try and have a go at somebody and get themselves hurt okay so we're, we're, we're in a way protecting them if we're holding them there till the police arrive okay um, and then when the police arrive we hand them over and we explain to the police what happened it's even better if there's like cameras or something like that okay main thing only trespass if you've got the authority to trespass only physically trust somebody if you think you've got the ability to do it safely not only for yourself but for the other for the trespasser and for others that are in the vicinity okay um, if you don't think you can call for backup call for the police ask for somebody else to help you assist you to remove this person the more hands removing this person the better for you the safer it is but you don't want to get somebody that's going to start punching this person Okay, and doing bodily harm because then that person that's helping you, if they start hitting the trespasser, all right, they're going to get arrested for assault. All right, you, you've got no right to do bodily harm to that trespasser. Remember, they're breaking the law, but they haven't killed anybody. They haven't committed a serious crime. So don't amp it up. Okay, we always got to try and minimise the problem. Okay, um, but when you're doing it, keep safe. Uh, always play it safe. Always go for the safest option if you can. Um, and be careful out there okay so I hope you enjoyed that one a bit of a long video but a lot of detail in it that was needed to come out to explain things um, properly okay any questions comments share um, subscribe um, and 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 you know make comments things like that all right thanks for coming along cheers bye bye